So we knew that Ralph Randit was going to be bringing in some coaching staff at Manchester United. Michael Carrick's left as the assistant. And we know that for the Ralph Ragnick system, this intense pressing style of play to be implemented into Manchester United is going to need coaches to help him do that. And that's going to be Chris Armas. And that is going to be Sasha Lense. Chris Armas coming in as assistant manager. Sasha Lense coming in as a sports psychologist. This video is going to be everything you need to know about Chris Armas. So sit back 5-10 minutes, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. But let me try and give you a bit more info as to why both of these have been brought in by Radnick, why it kind of makes sense, and exactly the reasons behind it. So you don't have to do the research. Don't say I don't treat you well. Let's go straight into this one and let's see and hear what Radnick had to say about Chris Armas to begin with. Well, Radnick had this to say. Chris Armas used to be the assistant coach at New York Red Bulls under Jesse Marsh. That was five years ago when I first met him. Since then, we have met quite frequently. Also in my role as head of global for Red Bull in the last three years, he was the head coach for the New York Red Bulls and Toronto in the MLS. He will again hopefully join our team in the next two days. So, Randnick there explaining the actual working relationship that him and Chris Armas have had together. As he says right there, he's worked there when he was in the head of Global Red Bull and also when Chris Armas was head coach at Red Bulls. So, let's go over here. This is Chris Armas, 49 year old, former Chicago Fire player, bit of an icon there at Chicago Fire, but it's the MLS and that was when the MLS was, let's be honest, a bit of a joke. Uh, Chris Armas here, if we look at his roles inside management, Started off as assistant, uh, assistant manager at Chicago Fire, as I said, where he was a playing icon, if you want to call it that. Moved into the role as assistant manager at New York and then took over as manager when Jesse Marsh left and went over to Leipzig to become assistant under Julian Nagelsmann. It's like a big family tree, this Red Bull situation. Then he was there for a couple of years, was it? Just over two years he was there and then he went to Toronto. And Toronto was where he didn't have the best of time. He was only there for, what, six months before he was eventually sacked. And now he's got this role at Manchester United. And so many United fans are going, Sam, seriously, why is this bloke coming in as our assistant manager when he was sacked after six months at Toronto? He doesn't really have that much experience. We need the best in class. A couple of caveats to that. Number one, I agree, we do need the best in class. Number two, we've got Ralph Radnick in on a temporary contract. And any reason he signed that interim deal is because we gave him a two-year consultancy role at the end of it. Therefore, no coach is going to leave any stable position to come to United for that six-month period. That's why it kind of worked out with how it's happened so far. Chris Armas was out of work. Sasha Lense was out of work. It makes sense. I don't think either of these, if I'm being completely honest, in my gut, either of these were his first choices. Maybe Sasha Lense would have been. But it, I found this part quite interesting. This is from uh, the announcement video over on Rebel New York's uh, YouTube page. Try not to laugh at it because it does sound a bit like an American promo because it always does. But this is what he had to say. Just this little, hit this little snippet. If I'm in this, yeah, I'm going to work at that. Calm yourself down. The way I played was is synonymous with, with our style of pressing and taking time away and playing quickly and, and just making it hard. So now that I've transitioned to this part of it, I think the same will, will follow. I'm passionate. I care about people. I'm relentless with the details. So I'm going to push and, and work tirelessly to to bring trophies to the club. Right, as I said, try not to laugh at the fact that that does sound like one of those American promo videos because it's exactly what it sounds like. But hearing the words there in his relentless work to training, he is concentrating on the pressing game. I can understand where the principles lie with Chris Armas that Ralph Radnick has seen before. Radnick has had experience working with him and seen what he's done. So clearly, we have to trust Ralph Ragnick here that Chris Armas is good enough to come into Manchester United and reapply those principles. Because what Ragnick needs, I've already said this quite a few times, Ragnick needs somebody there who he can trust as his absolute lieutenant and general. And if he's turned around and going to have a cup of tea or, got, I don't know, if something's happened, he's got to leave training for 10, 15, 20 minutes. He's got to trust that somebody's there to make sure the intensity stays the same. And that's where Chris Armas comes in. Now, something I do want to say here that I think is important to have this conversation. This is an article I was reading. Uh, so, uh, this was out from, in America, MLSsoccer.com. What the discourse is missing about Chris Armas's shock move to Manchester United. And this is something is absolutely crucial to understand here. Armas got the call from Man in Manchester because of the strengths he'd already shown in, in abundance on the training ground for years, well before he got the opportunities to run the show at, in Toronto and Harrison. 
By the time he joined the Red Bull staff under Jesse Marsh, he'd honed the day-to-day -day craft of running training and fitness sessions, analyzing performances, working with players individually and in small groups. In short, the pivotal work of preparing and improving players and teams that largely unfolds out of the public's view. And it's this line here which is crucial. While Armas has yet to prove he can perform as a manager, meaning the boss, the last word, the one who steers the ship and keeps more of a bird's eye view, at a high level, Armas has won widespread respect for his work as a coach. And that's fundamentally a different job. In the exact same sense as somebody who's a fantastic player, can't doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a fantastic manager. In the same sense as someone who's a fantastic coach doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be a fantastic manager. And by the looks of things, that's where Chris Armas falls into. So look, if Ralph Ragnick trusts him enough to bring him to Manchester United, then I trust Ralph Ragnick enough that he's made the right call. And let's see if it works out. But that's all you need to know about Chris Armas. As I said, somebody who's not got the most esteemed track record. There's nothing really to prove him as a manager, but we're not bringing him in as a manager. We're bringing him in as a first team coach to drill the training sessions and to make sure that the system that Ragnick has all the system. Ragnick has all the answers. He just needs coaches to go and push it. And that's what Chris Armas is coming in for. But he's not the only one coming in. He is going to be joined by Sasha Lense. Now, Sasha Lense, if you listen to my interview with Guido Schaefer, as I said, I'm 100% bringing Guido back on the channel. Drop him some love on Twitter if you would. What a guy. Anyway. He told me that Sasha Lense was coming in. He said he dropped him a congratulatory message. Who is Sasha Lense? First of all, let's hear what Ragnick had to say about Sasha Lense. In Germany, most clubs has a sports scientist. For me, it is absolutely logical. For me, it is only a question of logic. The players should have an expert for the brain, not to put them on the red sofa and holding hands with the players, but for helping the players that the brain should assist the body. Everybody in our team should think in the right way. Now, if you've listened to all the videos I've done on Ragnik and you've listened to his coaching philosophy and everything he talks about, he speaks about training the brain just as much, if not more, about training the player. Now, Sasha Lense, who is he? He had, let's be honest, not the most esteemed footballing career. He went to Unterhach Unterhaching? Don't know. He was there in the late 90s, went to Dresden, went to Darmstadt and finished off back at a different Dresden. He was not particularly a fantastic football player. If you were looking at uh, Sasha Lense's career post-football in terms of playing, he spent time at Dresden as a sports psychologist before he went to Leipzig for a few years, and that's where he really worked with Ralph Ragnick. Then he went back to Dresden and Schalke before eventually he's now at Manchester United. Now, a lot of you will ask, Sam, what is a sports psychologist? What does a sports psychologist do? How is this going to help Manchester United win the treble? That's effectively what you want to know. And it's Ralph Radnick. There's let's, let's, no point in me explaining it. We may as well hear from the man himself. This is what he said. Uh, that bit there you've heard. For me, it's only a question of logic. If you have special coaches for physical and education, even for strikers, for fitness, you should also have an expert for the brain. And he said there, it's about helping the players know that the brain should assist the body and not work against it. Now, what I'm going to do here is go back to the video that I did about how Ralph Ragnick could revolutionise Manchester United. And I want to pull up exactly what he said here, because if you listen to this bit, then you'll know exactly what he's going to be doing when he comes to Manchester United. Sasha Lense. All our trainings on the pitch, when we train tactics and strategy, our style of football, it's all about exaggerations. So we play with the so-called provocational rules. Those rules force the player to play in a way that is even more difficult than the game on Saturday. So by that we try to train the brain. In fact, uh, it's about overloading the brain and uh, trying to put the brain to learn and adapt in situations when you are under pressure regarding space and time. Mm -hmm. And it's oh. about finding solutions in those situations in training so that in fact on game day on Saturday the players even think, ah, it feels easier than in training. Mm -hmm. and that, that is exactly why he's brought him in. So him there, it, Ralph Radnick speaking about how people, the players are going to be working in intense environments, probably more intense inside training than they would on, on the pitch during the game. And what I've read about Sasha Lense is he's somebody who is not like, Radnick described it, didn't he? He said it's not somebody who's going to sit on the sofa with a pair of like glasses at the end of his nose with a clipboard saying, how are you feeling today? You know, 
talk to me about football. What's your favourite pair of boots? That, that's, that's not what he's going to do. He's going to help them understand these new pressures that are coming through the training because it's going to be different. And clearly Ragnik is somebody who knows what he wants to do. He's clearly somebody who knows how he's done it before and he's trying to replicate that at Manchester United. So Sasha Lense is somebody who will be directly involved in training. He's not going to be somebody who's sitting there and if anybody wants to go and speak to him, you go and knock on the, the sports psychologist's door. It's not going to be that sort of relationship. Kind of semi sounds like he might be a bit of a coach as well, if I'm being completely honest. But Sasha Lense is going to come in and help that mental side of the game because it's, it's a huge part of football, man. It really is. And trying to learn these new processes and how that adapts the brain. As I said, I, I've com- I think the comparisons with Louis van Gaal and how he spoke heavily about training the brain are fair. But I don't think Louis van Gaal ever had the circumstances around the club that allowed the success to come with it. And his football was boring as fuck. Randnick's a bit different. We're playing the Gegen Preston style. It fits more in Manchester United's ethos in terms of attacking X, Y, Z. But Sasha Lense is coming in. He is going to be our new sports psychologist. That is confirmed. And we're going to have Chris Armas coming in as our new assistant manager. Now, what I've done, what I've tried to do in this video is explain to you a bit more about Chris Armas and a bit more about Sasha Lense. Hopefully, everything you need to know. Exactly why Ragnick brought both of them in why both of them have assets and attributes and characteristics that you can see fitting what Ragnik needs. And for us all to understand that because of Ragnik's temporary interim role, it would have been very hard for him to go and get the best in class. Slash impossible. No one's going to leave a stable job and go and do that. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. But look, if, I, if you did learn something from this video, please drop a like on it. We've got young boys tonight. Let's see how we get on there. But as I said, subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. And I hope this helped you understand exactly why Chris Armas and Sasha Lente have both been chosen by Ralph Ragnick to be the two coaches he's brought in. And maybe there'll be someone else, but we don't know yet. Anyway, take it easy. <laughs>